everybody. Welcome back to Divinity, the original sin, the Enhanced Edition. Uh, as of last episode, we have entered the uh, Lakilla Mines. I think I've skipped out the uh, the last couple of fires of the goblins before we got here. I didn't really see the point in doing those. You've seen it all before, so I thought we'd get to the mines and get all this started. Right, let's uh, see what he's got to say. Talk to me, talk to me. Over here. Come over here quickly, but be as quiet as a mouse. What are you waiting for? Come here, but for the love of the gods, be still. Okay. Now oh, there I he is. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see another human face uncorrupted by immaculate madness. I hid when I heard your voice, but you don't look like the lunatics here that slave the dead. Will I escape this infernal pit after all? Will I escape the dreaded Hell Lords? And who are you? I'm Marques, a craftsman from Hunter's Edge, a village some miles to the east of here. Orcs raided our town and sold us to the goblins as slaves. Little did we know that they were to pass us on to the remorseless necromancers here in the mines. Yeah, you heard me right. Necromancers. My family, my friends, they were all turned into undead slaves by those most deviant of sorcerers and forced to unearth Tenebrium. I managed to escape in the darkness of the tunnels and was just about to head for the daylight when I heard you approach. Why would slaves be turned into undead? Because of the Tenebrium, of course. That stuff will give you rot right quickly, and after that, rot will kill you right slowly. But if you're naught but a skeleton with a pickaxe, what then? Rock can't touch you, can it? So that's what they do, the vile maniacs. They procure people, slaughter them, and wrench their souls back from the shores of death to mine the days away. I don't even know why they do it. Tenebrium. It blights all that it touches. Good for nothing is what it is. Uh, rock certainly sounds like it means bad news. The worst. I can't imagine a crueler death. They say some genius up in Silverglen first hired the goblins to clear away Tenebrium when his miners started to fall ill. Them nasty critters are immune to its contagion, they said. What nonsense. The goblins aren't immune at all. They just wanted to take possession of the mine. Their chief, a, a sickening brute called Sadakandras, simply forced everyone out. Those who put up a struggle were speared and sacrificed to goblin totems. Then, away from prying eyes, the Immaculates moved in, and the undead horror began. Those fools of goblins don't even realize they're no more than cogs in the Immaculate machine. Why, I've even seen a number of them held as prisoners just a corridor away. Soon they'll be no more than skeletal slaves. Orcs came to your town, you say? You make it sound like a carnival drop by. Carnage, more like. Mayhem and death. That's what the orcs spread. To think we thought ourselves lucky they didn't eat us all on the spot, but rounded us up to be sold into slavery. We escaped certain death only to face certain deathlessness. Talk about your rock and a hard place. What in the blazes are hell lords? By the seven, I don't know. Never have I seen anything like them. They're creatures dressed in knight's armor that's black as coal. The very ground trembles when they approach, and their eyes shine with demon mania. To even think about them is to struggle with almost irrepressible panic. Okay. What about them? Can you give me the lay of the land? I'm afraid I've been navigating these mine shafts rather like a fish out of water. All I can do is advise you to leave and don't look back. But if you're determined to push on, be warned that a handful of Immaculates is the least of your worries. The Necromancers weave powerful magic, and as I fled, I nearly ran into one of the Hell Lords. Had it seen me, had I met its eyes, I know I'd have gone mad. I, 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 I looked away and, and, and ran as fast as I could. Only darkness awaits you here. The dark and the dead. Hmm, I'm likely to make Immaculates here, am I? Indeed. Bunch of loons. I haven't the foggiest what their plans are, but it has nothing to do with mining for silver, and that's a goddamn certainty. Them and their goddess lording ways seem to have taken hold in Silver Glen. But I bet the people there have no idea what the boys high up, or, or should I say down low in the mines, are really plotting. Curse their ignorance and curse their gullibility. Immaculates, the real ones, I mean, the ones in power, 
They are setting something in motion that I hope to be far, far away from when that something finally rears its head. OK, I'll take my leave. As will I. It's just that I'm torn. Should I hang low right here just a little bit longer, or should I make a run for it? Well, oh, I say run. Why sit and wait for death? I concur. Run while you can. Yeah, you're right. Better make a dash for it while I've still got a chance. But, but wait a moment. Who's, who's that you've got with you? Medora, is that you? Found another group of dupes to betray, have you? But can it really be you? Something's different. Yeah, you've recognised her rightly. That's Medora. The one and only. Ah, so it is you, you chicken-livered craven. Rolled out the map for the orcs in Hunter's Edge and come to do the same for the Hell Lords here, is that it? And your face. Looks like one of the townsfolk sliced you up before you managed to sell them to Grutilda, eh? Well, to hell with you. In any case, now's the time for me to escape. Good riddance to this god's forsaken place and to you. Okay, he's not happy with Medora. Uh, Dreadlords. Okay. Investigating the mines. And Goblin Trouble. All right, let's check these other boxes. Well, I'm quite surprised that Medora hasn't got anything to say to me after that. Hmm. Right, check these other boxes. All right, let's just break through this wall, I think. Where's Medora? There we go. Look at these skeletons just chipping away at the rock perpetually. With that same thousand yard stare you get when trying to do arithmetic. <laughs> That's very true, though. God. So this is what's become of the villagers? Okay, Jolene. Bone totem. Right, we need to get rid of that. So that's what's controlling the uh, the skellies. Right, let's see what she's got to say. Prepare yourselves, brothers! It has found us! But no, you are not the armored death. You we can slice, dice, and feed to the idol of oblivion! Okay, if something called Armour Death is stalking, you only best to join forces. No, thank you. You couldn't slice and dice a cabbage. That's okay, intimidate. Hmm. Right, intimidate. Right, let's see who wins. Ah, good. Cabbage, eh? Try dozens and dozens of fresh flesh slaves. <laughs> come, I'll carve you like a roast. I doubt that very much. Let's see if you've got anything to sell first of all. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> uh, mine's too handy. That's too handy. That's air. Uh, no, that's rubbish. What's that? Hmm. Okay, well, I can rub all that off your body when you're dead. Did I get to cast that then? No, I didn't. Alright, first of all, move you up. No. Let's focus that one, Jeline. Alright. Skelly time. Priestess. Right, let's see if we can silence you, damn it. <laughs> yeah, we'll awesome with that. Goddess curse you with blood. That you takes care of the idol. Sacrilege. Perhaps the undead will be a bit more responsive now. Maybe they can tell us something useful about this place. 
Ouch. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Chilled while he stood in uh, a fire base. Slowed, that's not good. Right, uh, let's encourage first of all. Get her into the appropriate position. I nearly got that word out then. Damn it. Somebody's all not dead, did he? Right. What is that? Oh, it's all those talking. <laughs> all the skellies have started talking now they've been released by killing the born totem. Right. Um... That does a ricochet. Will that reach? Yes. And treat poisoning. I think she's poisoned. Yes. Vile poison, be gone! Um. Okay, skill is nearly dead. Let's get spider up. Skelly did his job. Get the fire elemental on the fire, that should be nice and cozy for him. Okay, Jolene, you're going down. There we go, very nice. Move up to you. Oh, wow, he didn't last long, did he? It's rather disappointing. Okay, that was very nice of you to come closer. My lucky charm. Um, yes. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I'll get you out of my face. Stop you from healing. Ouch. A spider gone as well. Alright, come on, make your mind up. I hate it when the game does this. There we go. Uh, flurry. That's the barricade, don't we do that? <laughs> wow, I thought it was hitting the barricade then. Another one down. Another one down. OK, 
Okay. My power is your power. This world will be to be heal out. On the mend. Move up a little bit. There we go. Can that hit both? Yes, it can. Nice. Do we have one left? No. Nope. Ooh. <laughs> and we else need to heal? Yes, Medora. Into the fray once more. down if possible immune to knock down okay we'll let you off and that's the end of that All right, let's get some uh, red in here I need to dry off I can't feel my legs <laughs> Okay, there's a group over there doing the same. All right, let's get the. Uh... It is done. The spell is We're not good on it all yet. No, obviously not. Okay, let's do the uh, the nasty and pick up all this. That's it. Ooh. Okay. Nothing extraordinary there then. Damn it. Don't want that. Okay, let's just check quickly what we have got there. Um, 90. Let's send that to Medora, see if she likes that. I shard scroll. Okay, well, who can we send that to, Scarlet? Got the book. Deep Oath Strength Portion, okay. Crafting, oh, yes. Unless she already has better than that. Crafting. Blacksmithing. Okay, we don't need two blacksmithing on. We will keep. Send that one to Roderick. Get that out of the way. I 
Let's just check the condition of her ball. Well, it only takes more damage than anything. Uh, sorry about this, folks. Looks like we're doing a quick repair session. They seem to be in need. Desperately, by the look of it. He's having done for a while. What are you doing, Nick? I don't know. Ooh, that needs uh, non-slip on it. What are we on at the moment, Crossman? Four. So where's that belt? Put that on, that should make it five. Yes, and um, which means I can do that. Non slip, that's what we needed. I bet I can do some of those arrows as well. Oh, we haven't got any. That's okay. Alright, type that. Let's put that back on. Before I forget. Alright, let's have a word with these uh, skeletons. Okay, who are you? about the Immaculates. They took my life. They took my flesh. For Tenebrium. For Source. We died and lived again. Uh, the Immaculates must have a purpose here. Do you know what lies at the heart of these minds? And he's got no lungs. If you want to go where we don't go, where she goes, then whisper the word she whispers. Satacandrus. Satacandrus is. Okay, thanks for the information, Mr. Skelly. There they go. Right, uh, investigating the mines, we've got the password. Right. And we have a conversation piece. That skeleton believed its soul would live on in the Hall of Echoes. And so it like the world, how terrible to have one but short chance at life. Indeed. Perhaps we'll meet these souls again when we move on to the Hall of Echoes ourselves. Alright, let's make our way over this way a little bit, shall we? Oh, hang on. Got all the bodies to loot on the way here, I think. Yeah, there's one. Anything? No. Medora. Thank you. What oh, forgot? Cheese bread. Dragon's bread. What's his knife? Fork. Nah, I'm not going to bother Is with that. Door open? That can go to the homestead.
All right, I'm being very careful here because I know what comes up here. There he comes. Let's see if he... hope he doesn't see me there. I don't think he will. You get two dread guards that come this way. And this is the original path that I used to go uh, where we need to go. But there is another way. So we will do that. Let's uh, undo that one. You can go this way, but it is, it is harder. You can sneak or get one person through. There's the, there's the target. There's the uh, Dread Knight. And you get two that cross over at this point here. Right, so let's just head back this way. Because it's not time to go past the hills yet. Now, unless they've changed any enhanced edition, we should be saved this way. For the moment. Ooh, 236 gold. Nice. Leather boots. By the totems, this is a disgrace. We'll skin you all alive, we will. Alright, if I remember correctly, there should be one Dread Knight that comes this way. Yep, there he is. And he turns around about here, I think. Yep, there he goes. Alright. Can we talk to whoever this is? Drexis. Vile human scum! Sadakandras will hear a filthy, immaculate betrayal. He will put you all up on a pole and let it slide slowly into your bowels uh, until your screams of agony will rid the forest of all that lives. So terrified will be even the worm that crawls and the bird that flies. <laughs> I may be human, but I'm not an immaculate. That does not matter, little louse. All humans will suffer the wrath of the totems for the shame that has befallen us. Okay, I really don't want to ask, but tell me about yourself. I am Drexis, favoured of totems. Were that I had my spear, this mine would be a blood spattered waste if I were free. Not even the tremor demons could stop me. Who is Sadakandras? He is the chief of our tribe's seat, the greatest of goblins alive. For the promise that hides in bloodstone does he follow the human female they call Conduit. She has his respect. All others have but his contempt. And why are you imprisoned here? The slavers may their bones splinter inside their living they lured us in here. They said they had found an ancient totem, but that was a lie. They need more slaves to unearth Tenebrium. So soon they shall give us to the necromancers. Let them come. I shall claw their eyeballs from their skulls for their trespass and shove them down their throats. Uh, so we are Drexis. A man called Lawrence asked me to ask me to ask me to kill you. You know. Lawrence, <laughs> leave it to that coward to send another to do his dirty work. I thank you for telling me, human. To Lawrence, I shall go after I escape from this cell and show him the tricks I can do with a knife. Uh, what do you know about the tremor demons? If my nose does not betray me, and it never does, they have been forged in blood. The power of the bloodstone runs through them, the blood of a thousand spirits. 
They course through the stones they hold, through the living rock. Blood, 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 in blood the spirits roam free. Okay, on that note, I will take my leave. Filthy Go into war. Uh, oh, really, don't threaten me. Right, now we could pull that lever and open that door. And let them out, I suppose. But we're not going to. We have other plans for them. And those other plans will be fulfilled next episode, folks, I'm afraid. Uh, we've got a troll, reanimated troll to kill and some immaculates. Elizabeth, she's going down, I think. Alright folks, so we'll leave it there. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. This is All Grey, signing off.